In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of things regarding taking screenshots, but also preparing to take screenshots using the Unreal Editor. So this builds off one of the Unreal uh, document activities where it's kind of diving in and doing some level design. So let's say for sake of argument, you're ready to go. One of the things you might discover with Unreal is that yes, your lighting is kind of done on the fly as you are working. And very, very often as you are working through an Unreal project, you're constantly going to see in the upper left-hand corner that lighting needs to be rebuilt. Normally as you are working, I would advise just let that set until you're ready to actually build the project. Now, when you're ready to build, and actually get rid of, and you can see that I have some previews here as far as Unreal is pretty much letting me know that this is probably generally what this is going to look like as far as shadows and lighting goes. There is a build option right above your scene screen area here. However, I don't need to build the entire project. There is a drop down arrow next to it where you can build lighting only. And honestly, as an Unreal developer, and if you are building environments, I would encourage folks to get very comfortable with control shift semicolon. You're probably going to be doing this quite frequently. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it build for a second. And you may get this pop-up here that you have to allow it to build. And then you're going to see down in the corner that it is going to start exporting the data and building the lighting for you. And there, now you can see that the previews are gone in my game environment, and now I'm ready to actually work on taking some screenshots. Now, standard screenshots, like on any operating system, you can use, you know, print screen or command shift three, or you can use Snagit or anything like that. Unreal Game Engine though actually does offer you the capability to take high resolution screenshot images. To locate this piece of, um, software here. It's actually located up in the upper left hand corner here of the scene. There's a drop down arrow next to the perspective view. And if you scroll down, there's a section literally called high resolution screenshots. So I'm going to go ahead and open this window and you're going to have a lot of different options here. And just for demo's sake, I'm going to leave this as the default. I'm not concerned about size multiplier. I'm not concerned about the timestamps and things like that. Before you get ready to take your screenshot though, one thing you're going to have to do is you are going to have to first off position your camera, but also too, if I took the screenshot now, it's actually going to have all of the widgets in the scene. One way that you can quickly get around this is coming back up to that main bar here, right above your scene area. And next to play, if you click on the drop down area, instead of just playing the selected viewport, you can simulate the viewport, which as you can see, actually removes all of the different elements here, but then I can still use my mouse and my arrows to kind of move around and get some screenshots in. So for instance here, maybe I kind of zoom in and I kind of really like this angle. I have a couple of options here. There are two buttons down at the bottom. I can actually specify a region or I can take a screenshot. So let's say for instance here, I take a screenshot. Whenever you take a screenshot down in the corner, it's going to let you know that it took a screenshot. The screenshot is actually stored where you made your project. So I'll show you that in a moment, but let's get one more screenshot here. Maybe I decide that I want to come in and just to show you the difference here, instead of just hitting the screenshot button, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a region for this screenshot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to specify my rectangle here, kind of get a nifty little angle there. And then you can come over. And as you can see, you can accept, you can discard, or you can just change it back to the whole view. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And then I can go ahead and take the screenshot. Now this time, however, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dart down here to the right-hand side and I'm gonna click so that you can see my screenshots. So just to show you as far as the layout goes, here you can see that it's actually going through and it is saving in a screenshot environment. So now if I go ahead and double click, there you can see that I've got a nice screenshot that all I had to do was work directly in the Unreal Game Engine. I didn't have to worry about any external programs to get my screenshot. 
So this is a nice quick way, and I'll show you the other one here where we just took the screenshot of the game environment. So you have two options as far as getting your screenshots. So just remember that whenever you're working with Unreal that you don't have to rely strictly on the external software packages whenever you're making a different type of um, screenshot. You can just do it directly in Unreal Game Engine.